Moi, I'm Matti and I'm teaching the Introduction to Programming in Social Science this year. The overall aim of, of, of the course is really to learn how to unleash the power of computer because computers they are really good at doing stuff, they are really good at computing or calculating stuff, they are really fast at, at writing stuff or reading stuff in and so on but you need to know how to ask them, how to command them to do what you want. So that's why you need to learn how to do programming. There's two different kind of goals in our class. The first one is to formulate problems in a way that computers can solve them, because of course computers think in their own way and we humans tend to think in another way. So we need to learn a bit on how to formulate stuff or problems so that computers can solve them. And we also focus on how that we then write these ideas that we have that we would need computer to do something like this and, and, and write those into computer programs that can be executed by the computer. And the second goal that really makes the course different from traditional computer science courses is to think how we apply these in social sciences broadly. What kind of data pre-processing could we do? What kind of data analysis could we do? And, and really start going through on what are the benefits of these things. They can be applied both in industry, but also if you stay in academia and really want to start using computational social science methods. What we do in the class is that we have a bunch of programming exercises. The exercises are, are there to help you start thinking as computers think and, and start writing programs that, that are small and simple but already get a hang on, on how you express your, your the commands in, in the computer language. I'm of course there to help you to write programming. You don't really need to know anything before the class, but, but in the end of the class, the aim is that you can write small programs that help you in your own research or, or in, in any task that you might have. The second focus or the second stuff uh, thing that we do is look at the cases. So look, look at some published papers where these methods have been used or some research projects that have used programming in, in some form and really start to think how programming can help in, in research or in, in future careers. Welcome to the class.